In this module, we're going to learn about all of the different ways we can set keyframes inside of Maya, as well as create our very first basic animation. Alright, so we have a brand new scene open up here, and you can find this exact same scene within your project files. And what we have here is our robot character, and we have a few co control curves created for him that we're going to actually animate. So we're going to have this character have its sort of missile turrets on its shoulders pop open, as well as this sort of power core on its back kind of move inside the character. So we're going to have a lot of fun at creating this very basic animation. Now, like we've learned about in the previous module, before we ever really create any type of animation, we want to make sure that we have our animation preferences set the way that we want. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go over here to our animation preferences on the right side. We'll go ahead and select the icon to open up our time slider preferences. And currently the update view is set to active, which means if we split our viewport into maybe a different angle, maybe the side view, it's only going to play the animation through that active highlighted view. We're going to go ahead and change this to all, just in case we want to add in an extra viewport. And then looping is currently set to continuous, which is just fine. And our playback speed is set to real time 24 frames per second. Now, if yours is currently not set to that, you want to make sure that you have it set to real time 24 frames per second. Let's go ahead and hit save. Now you'll also notice here, currently we have a total of 200 frames for our entire animation, but we're only viewing 120 of those frames. We're actually going to go ahead and change this value on the right, the overall frame length. We're going to actually bring that to 120 as well. And that should give us enough frames to work with to create our animation. So whenever you create any animation inside of Maya, a keyframe is really the only way you can actually create that animation. A keyframe is really the building block for all animations. It's basically setting a point in time for a specific value of a channel. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what we're going to do, before we actually begin animating any of these control objects, let's go ahead and go in here and actually just select this character's head. And you can see over here in our channel box, we have all of the channels associated with this object. So we have all our translation, our rotation, our scale, and even the visibility channel. So how would we actually add a keyframe? So let's take a look up here at the top of Maya's user interface. Now currently my menu set is set to animation. If yours is not set to that, you want to make sure that you have the animation menu turned on so that you have some of these animation related menus up here viewable. So we want to take a look at this key menu. Let's go ahead and select that. And you can see right up here at the top, we have the set key option. So if we go ahead and select this, what it's going to do, if we do that, it's going to lock a keyframe down on frame one because that was the frame we were currently on. You can see it's indicated here on this red tick mark. And if we take a look at our channel box, all of our channels have now got this red box in the front of them. And this is just an indication that there's a keyframe set on all of our channels here. So what we've done is we've basically just told Maya that we want all of these channels to be at a value of zero for all of the translation and the rotation, a value of one for the scale and the visibility to be turned on at frame one. So we've basically just locked that in for Maya there. We're basically just telling Maya we want these values to be where they're at on this specific frame. So that's sort of the basic fundamentals of what keyframes are. So now that we've added that single keyframe in there, you may find that you might, might have accidentally added a keyframe at a f actual frame you didn't want to, or maybe you just simply didn't want to add a keyframe for that particular object. So what we can actually do is, since this keyframe is set on frame one, let's go ahead and make sure that we have frame one highlighted there, and we'll just right click it and choose delete. And that's going to delete that keyframe out, and you can see over here in our channel box, those red boxes have now been removed because we've deleted any keyframe set 
on those channels. We currently only had one keyframe, so it deleted that keyframe out. And we have no other keyframes set on any of our channels here, so we no longer have those red boxes. Now, if you wanted to add a keyframe for a specific channel here, what we can do is say, for example, you only wanted to animate the translate Y value. Let's go ahead and select that value there and highlight it in our channel box. We'll right click it and choose key selected. Now, when we do that, you can see that now just the translate Y channel has a red box in front of it. Nothing else has that red box because we've simply locked a keyframe down for that one specific channel. Let's go ahead now and we'll just delete that keyframe out. We'll just right click it and choose delete. Now, if we go up here to this key drop down again, you can see we have a couple different options for setting keyframes. We can set a keyframe just on the translation, the rotation, as well as the scale. So if we go ahead and hit set key on translate, it's going to set a keyframe on all of our translate channels there. And we'll go ahead and we'll just go ahead and delete that, that keyframe out because we actually don't need that. But you can see how we can actually begin to set our keyframes inside of Maya. Now, typically when you're working inside of Maya, you want to find the, the keyboard shortcuts that are going to come in most handy. And the one that you're going to find that you're going to be using most often is the S key. This is the keyboard shortcut for adding a new keyframe. And you'll also notice if we go up here to the key menu, you can see we have that shortcut indicated right up here on the set key. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the keyboard shortcut of S is going to lock a keyframe down on every single channel visible inside our channel box. So if you wanted to animate just a specific channel, using the keyboard shortcut of S is probably not the best way to do that. But let's go ahead, just real quick, go over this keyboard shortcut. So with our head selected, let's just press S, and you can see that that has dropped a keyframe down on all of those channels. So you can see how helpful this is going to come in when you actually begin creating animations instead of having to constantly go up to this key drop down menu and setting it or selecting the set key option. That keyboard shortcut of S is going to come in really, really handy. So let's go ahead and we'll just right click that, that keyframe down there on the timeline and we'll choose delete. All right, so now that we've gone, the, gone over the basics of actually just setting a keyframe down, setting a keyframe on all channels, setting a keyframe on one specific channel, we've gone over how we can begin to do that, as well as the keyboard shortcut for quickly just dropping in a keyframe. So what we're going to go over in the next clip is we're going to actually begin creating some of the animations for our robot character here. So we're going to go ahead and do that in the next clip.